For all of you Thrashers fans out there, you are getting impatient. You are saying enough is enough, right? That's how we feel about hockey season. We are ready for it. I'm Lauren Shahadi, along with our NHL columnist Wes Goldstein here, previewing Atlanta. Now Atlanta has missed the playoffs for the eighth time in their nine years. All they can go is up, right? Well, you would think, because really, where else? There's no further to, to go back downwards. But this season is a real problem for Atlanta because Ilya Kovalchuk, who is their star player, their franchise player, first overall pick in 2001. He's going to become a free agent next year, and they can't re-sign him as yet. He's waiting to see what goes on with that team. He's been frustrated by the lack of progress. And I think if they don't get things going really quickly, they're going to be in real danger of losing him. They may have to trade him before the deadline. Well, Wes, we always talk about success starting from the top, and we know they've struggled on the ice, also in the executive suites, though. Absolutely. They've had a, a real issue with their ownership over the last four years. It, it's, it's an eight-man group, and they've been kind of fractured in a lot of ways. They've been trying to get one side to buy out the other. It's ended up in a Maryland circuit court, and a judge ruled about two weeks ago that really they're going to go back to where they started. Nothing is going to change, and this group has to stay together and basically find a way to make it work. The real issue for Atlanta is they don't spend a lot of money. They've never been close to spending to the cap. It restricts them in terms of the players they can get. And I think until they settle this issue moving forward, it might be difficult to attract the talent they need and maybe even to re-sign Kowalczyk. Well, they don't spend a lot of money, like you say, but they do have some young, promising talent, and that's what you want to hear, right? Absolutely. And part of that is because they don't succeed on the ice, so they get really good draft choices or draft picks. They're, they're high up in the draft, and they've done fairly well. Last year they had uh, this kid named Brian Little who had it. It was in his second season, but he broke out with 31 goals. Tobias Enstrom is one of the best young and maybe one of the most underrated defensemen in the league. Uh, Zach Bogosian was a first-round pick last year. He's going to be back this year after injury. So, you know, you look at players they have in that roster, and, and it's pretty impressive. They need some breakout performances. That is for certain. So halfway through the season, where are they at? I'm putting you on the spot. Yes, you are putting me on the spot. You know, I think that Atlanta might be a lot better. I don't really see them as a playoff contender, and, and that's going to be the critical issue for them because if they're not making any progress, and I think they get to the point where they're approaching the trade deadline, they have to really look seriously at trading Kowalczuk, which would be very difficult for the franchise, but better than losing him for nothing. So if they have everything falls into place and they break out of the gate really well, Carrie Letton and their goalie does what he's supposed to, maybe they're in the playoff race, but I really wouldn't count on it. If you are a Thrashers fan, don't you want to know how Carolina and Washington shaping up? Check it out right here on CBSSports.com. We'll have all the previews for you on the countdown to the NHL season. For Wes Goldstein, I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll see you soon.